little motherfuckers. Okay, is that how we're gonna start this? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you know, you feel the type of way? Nah, sometimes we just be too nice. Like, hey guys, you know, sometimes you guys, yeah, you have to love it or something. Yeah, you know? friend. You know, like you're in a relationship and the shit's going just going too fucking well, so the girl decides, you know what, I'm gonna pick a fight with this little <laughs> ass motherfucker. Because then you gotta add something so spicy. So then you gotta disrespect the, the audience a little just a little bit. You still like really in? Yeah, like, you know, like, it's, it's not like in the form of disrespect, just, you know, I just call you guys motherfuckers that, you know, not like, like, fuck you, but like, in a funny, like, you know, like, <laughs> like, like <gasps> I'm appalled. And then you probably gonna be like, you know what, let me watch this dumbass little kids in the scene. It's like, oh, well, there we go. Be, so you clickbaiting. Well, it's not really clickbait. Clickbait is more like a... Like a picture, Catchy, right? Yeah, like, yeah, right, or maybe yeah, a yeah, maybe I get a sound bite, but I, even a sound bite won't they won't really do much. They don't care if they're called motherfuckers. Really, come on, they're called worse. <laughs> Damn, really? Think about it. Think about what I mean. Okay, so if you look at it right, for the girls that are watching, right, girls get called bitches and hoes for no reason, for no, no reason at all. They call each other that. They, they, exactly, exactly. But like, you know, but for them, it's like the, uh, I guess like the N word for black yeah, people. It's a term of endearment. Or like, um, who else has a term of endearment? Do gay people have a term of endearment? I, I don't know. I don't know. I have respect for you to be knowing. I don't know. <laughs> I go around like, hey guys, don't worry. You guys call each other. Nobody else can call I don't you. know. Like, well, okay. So fag is a bad word. That's a no go. Right. Why, why. Tranny is a bad no, like, why, why. Which I don't understand. Like, like the tranny one, I really don't understand. The fag, I get that one. I think it's derogatory, isn't it? It's short for transgender. Yeah. Or transsexual, what? isn't it? I don't know. I don't or transvestite. Know. Tranny is short for transvestite. Okay, but... What's why can I not say tranny? Why because is that? Bad? You you're like ah, tranny. No, tranny's just short. It's like No, but it's like the, the connotation of it, it's like ah. It's like uh the comedian Andrew Schultz was saying that, right? He was like, yo, grandma, granny, <laughs> <laughs> transvestite, tranny. <laughs> It just makes sense. It makes sense to me. I saw that shit. I was like, yeah, that shit makes yeah, sense. But it's just, there's also like the whole idea of like where you come from, you know, like people with the N-word. To you and me, we've heard that word forever and it's never been racist. First of all, I've been saying that word before I even knew what it meant. Like, exactly. Like, I really like, knew like, where it came from. Meant, that word meant. Exactly. So, because for us, it was never uh, like an idea of racism behind it. So it was more of an endearment. But once you find out, like, so somebody trend, doesn't, yeah, to them. So trend is disrespectful? It's like a term of to them, Yeah, to them it's like a term of, of, like, disrespect. And so you're like, you know what, it makes sense, Granny. <laughs> well, yeah, it does <laughs> make sense. But, but uh, you know, but they don't see it that way. Or whoever doesn't but see why? it. Why? That, that, that I don't understand it. This is why I don't understand it. I don't understand Ask it. somebody. I don't know. Go put it on. I, 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 I understand you're not the right person. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there in the ether, right? Like, in the universe. Because I, the reason I don't understand is because... Okay, it's, tranny is short for transvestite, right? But why is tranny a word of oppression? Like, nobody slaved you for this or like... No, but... Because, you know, there's a whole bully yeah, and all, yeah, all that it's shit. Like, I, I'm, at least I'm assuming, I don't know, based on the, the, the idea. But it's kind of like you're being dismissive, like, oh, tranny. Mm. I, I think that's what I would say. Okay, I, okay. I'm not, obviously, not the expert in this oh, field. Like, um, but, um... I'm beyond the truth. I don't... Like, I don't, I don't know. It's one of those things like, yo, you fuck whoever you want to fuck. Like, it's, that's your business. You get me? I'm not, I, I'm not, I, I, I'm not trying to be politically correct on this. So I, I just think that, that politically correctness is hard, man. It's it so is, it hard. is, it is. That, that shit is like, uh, okay. It's like, like, and the moment, like, you know what's funny? is like, you have to be politically correct, but the moment you slip, everybody oh, yeah, kills yeah, you So I don't understand that. Like, all right, yeah. so you guys want to be all about, like, you know, like inviting and welcoming and accepting everybody, but the moment somebody makes a mistake, you mm -hmm. shun them completely. Yeah, so yeah, you're we're not really open. We're only really open if you stand for what I stand for, which is not really openness at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. It's stupidity, is what it is. And so, like, you know, like I'll be open and welcoming to you if you agree with me. The moment yeah. you disagree with me, then you're a bigot. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like, wait, no, yeah. no, no, no. That, that's so true. Nobody really t tries to take the time to like explain no. or teach like. What the I guess because because this is like relatively new in the sense like all of these like uh I guess it is new to me. I mean all of these like yeah. I guess like uh what would you call them things coming up like uh issues not things not, 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 not <laughs> issues issues, okay, issues coming up whatever like they've been right and those things are like they're not new but they're like new to I guess light, like, to uh, the light right, right. Uh, the publicity they have now right so it's like it's so much like uh 
oh, you can't say this, you gotta act like this, you can't say, it's like, bro, I don't fucking, I don't fucking know, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like you know, I, I finally got around to watching that, uh, Dave Chappelle, uh, 60 yeah, Okay. and it's like, he said something so true, it's like, I don't know, like, yeah, when the HR girl comes and tells him, like, oh, <laughs> Dave, you can't say this, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, it's like, first of all, yeah. why not, like, isn't the first yeah, yeah. amendment, like, freedom of speech, yeah, yeah. like, don't get me wrong, I, you guys have been very clear, I think I've been very clear, like, I'm a man of faith, so I believe that my words do matter, uh, but, but, like, we're getting a little too much, like, yo, you know, like, I, uh, we can't say nothing anymore, to, to Dave's point, though, it was good, he said, oh, um, so why can't I say the N word? He's like, oh, Dave, because you're black. He's like, oh, but I'm not a nigga, right? Like in that sense, <laughs> yeah. right? In that sense, yeah. like I'm not, I'm not, what, what it means back then, right? Yeah. Or, you know, whatever. And it, it's, it's, I understand that, but, but because it has like, uh, it has a value. Like yeah. that word had value to do something back yeah. then. Like it has a history. The word, what word, what was the history for some of these slangs? That, that for example, okay, like faggot, right? Like faggot is bad. I think we should say right. Faggot means like a bunch of sticks or something. Yeah, like that. it's like a bunch. I of I don't understand sticks. that either. I don't get. I don't get how that's like a. I. I mean, I. I like most of this. First of all, I'm not an expert in any of this thing. Right. But I just assume logically what it, what people would say. Oh, it says, oh, they're faggots because it's a bunch of sticks together. So it's a bunch of penises together. Uh, who the fuck comes up with this? Like, wait, wouldn't that make sense? It's a creative. Like, doesn't that make sense? Yes, but I thought this was like one but very like, creative. Let's assume. Let, 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 let me put a disclaimer. This is my assumption. Yeah, yeah I, I get. I get what you're saying. Well, that, that's it, but that's like a very creative redneck joke. Yeah. You know I mean, like you're putting sticks together for like your fire or for like, I don't know, for a barbecue or something that you decide, oh, well, this uh, faggots, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta call gay people faggots now. Like, that, because that's we're gonna like, use them to burn them. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's, I, don't, I don't fucking get it. I don't get it. But, you know, shit, I guess shit. I you know what? Hatred is creative. Yeah. People are very creative mm-hmm. when they want to hate. Mm-hmm. They're like, you know what? How can I be more insulting? How can I be more offensive? That's a good point there. That's that's. I think I probably agree with that. When you when you trying to like like hate, I yeah. guess like, like think about think about, like, think about the fact that like KKK meetings and member IDs and all the oh, stuff yeah. they do it. Yo, yeah. it's wild. Think about like Nazi movement. It's wild. Yeah. And, and, uh, <laughs> I remember um, is a Harold and Kumar that the KKK meeting <laughs> and they're like. They're in the circle and they're like, yo, they're trying to tell stories about how they like fucked over like a minority. Like, what did they do to a minority? Like, this motherfucker sit around and really talk about no this. No shoes? I don't know, but it was... I, that, that has to be true, dog. That has to be true. It's, 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 it's like a sense of pride. Like, yo, today, there was this Hispanic dude named Chris, bro, and I just cut him off in traffic. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I flicked him off while we were riding. Like, and I was honking. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, like, Jesus you know, Christ! Like, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, it's wild. I don't even know where this is going. I'm just telling you. That we we all over the place as a, as a nation, we're as a culture, as ideas. We're all over the place, and George is all over the place because he can't even find. I'm trying to get my phone, man. See what we gonna talk about today. <laughs> Twenty minutes in, he's like, "Well, we're gonna get a topic." <laughs> uh, yeah, man. What are we talking about today, bro? Where, where are we at today? I don't know, man. Wait, where, 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 um, where's your mind at? My mind, my mind's been troubled lately. Um, really. Yeah, man. Um, this this pastor who I was actually a follow on Twitter, right? Okay. I follow on Instagram too. And uh, Monday he posted something, you know, and it was like like impactful. Though. I thought it was like a very well written tweet. And then like a couple hours later, I found out that he took his own life. Oh, whoa! Yeah, bro. And, and you know, like it's, it's funny because I I know I've been telling you about the preachers of sneakers Instagram website, right? Yeah. And so you had a few points like people wearing Yeezys and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he would always comment, like he made me laugh because he would always comment, like, oh, I got mine on Amazon. Check out my boots, I got this. <laughs> you no, know, he would always comment. Yeah, like, yeah, so, so, like, so he was always like messing around with the website and whatnot. And, and you know, by, by all accounts, by many people, he was like a great uh, person. Or, he was a fa- funny guy? Yeah, he's a funny guy. He's a father of two, like two small children, too. Yeah, like, yeah. No, I lost stuff. And, he took his life and he didn't want shot himself? I, I don't know the details. Oh, you don't know yeah. how? And, uh, you know, I'm not, and I don't really care because there's a lot of respect for, you know, him, his mm-hmm. person, his family. Uh, but it just, it, it just shook me because, you know, and I brought you back to how we talk about mental health uh, yeah. often. And how it's so hard, you know, for me to understand it because I don't experience it. Right, right. And so sometimes if I'm not careful, I'll disregard people's struggles mm-hmm. because I don't yeah. understand their struggle. You know, like, yeah, just, yeah. just to make a transition from the word or the chitrani or whatever the word. You know, the idea is because I don't understand you 
it's so easy for me to be like, eh, it's, maybe it's not that much of a big deal. We've been too much. Yeah. And, and it's not even until you think that, man, somebody must have really been going with something so bad that the best way out was to just be out. Yeah. Like, and, and that crushes me in a normal sense, but when it comes to people of faith, it crushes me even more because our faith is literally based on suffering. Yeah. The suffering of, of yeah. Jesus as the ultimate sacrifice. Mm-hmm. You know, so our whole idea is that, you know, even if we suffer through this life, we'll be all right eventually. Yeah. You know, so when people of faith get to that point where they're like, yo, I, I don't know. Cause, and I don't know what point it is, you know, because I can't, I don't have any, I'm, like I've never in my life, God forbid, you know, had any struggles, mental, you know, illness or health or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, but but it must be so real to you that you like, yo, that yeah. point. And yeah. so that has been troubling me because it's like, man, I don't know. And, and, and suicidal, like, you know, uh, the process of suicide or whatever is becoming an uh, epidemic here in mm-hmm. the United States, you know, and, and through the world. It's like, so it's just, I've been on that. I've been thinking, like, you know, how crazy it is that sometimes because we don't understand something, it's so easy to just look at it like, I man, he was just being weak. Nah, you know, but that, that, that's actually a good point, though. Like, you know, that, that kind of brings me to this is like, that, that's why it's so important to speak out, though, regardless. You know, like, so on the on the topic of mental health, right, it's a lot of like advocating for and goal, they, and therapy. And, and you know. Just to cut you up real quick. Yeah. And Monday was uh or this week is suicidal or, or whatever awareness really? week. Oh wow! Oh this week really? Yeah, just passed by. Or oh whatever. shit! I mean, cause so so this is the thing, you know, like um so one point you say you can't understand it, right? But I think everybody experiences some kind of like um. The, so you, would you say you've ever been depressed in your life? No. No, no, so, okay. At least not the way people voice their depression. I feel like if I were to take words like depression, anxiety for me, it would be just to feel something. Yeah. Because the way people describe depression is that I've never felt it at that level. Right. Like, I've been sad. I've told you. I've been like, yo, I'm in a funk and I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. need a reset. Yeah. But I know for me, it's just a reset and I'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's people who spend months, years in this and I don't, like... So I wouldn't want to disrespect him by saying, yeah, I've experienced that. Because right. I haven't. Well, I mean, okay, but you, again, but you can't disregard your own feelings. No, no, because, no. because the thing is that there's there's all there's also levels, right? Like, I'll give you an example, right? So when it comes to anxiety, right? I get anxious when I'm just sitting down too long sometimes. Yeah? I mean, like, so sometimes I'll be banging my leg and I, I, it's almost like this sensation of like... I gotta do it. Gotta like, go, like go, I gotta go, get go, up go, and I gotta stretch go. my legs out. If not, I'm gonna like, you know what I'm saying? I feel, mm-hmm. exactly, right? And that's that's one form of anxiety, but then there's like the extreme where like people will literally out of nowhere, like that feeling that I'm having probably amplifies for them so much and it happens like in a split second. We're just like, yeah, mm-hmm. man, they can't breathe mm-hmm. and you know, shit happens, right? Like, so so that's that's one level. With depression, everybody literally goes through phases of depression because, okay, so for example, when you drink alcohol, right? If anyone that drinks alcohol knows, like, that's. Of the pre- yeah, of the yeah, yeah, you get yeah. me? So it, it brings Bridget you down, down yeah. you get me? That's all depression yeah. is. So everybody's had those kind of feelings, those influxes. It's just you're right. You, you don't you don't get it to the, the testament of like how big it is because the people advocating for like yo oh I'm depressed. This they've been in it for so long mm-hmm. and it's detrimental to not just themselves but to, to the people others, around yeah, them. Of course. So that's a but when it doesn't really affect other people around you, you just dealing with it yourself. Then it's easier for you to like be like oh, okay, well, I guess I really haven't experienced yeah. it like that. But, you know, like, most people will feel, like, that depression like that when they're lonely, right? Because, like, I, I, I was reading the Bible, right? Um, I wasn't reading the Bible. I was reading this verse. <laughs> I didn't about, that. No, yeah, I had to because I was like, wait, because that, that sounded like I was literally sitting there reading the Bible. And I don't want, that's fake. That's, that's not, that's not what I was doing. <laughs> you have to give us that explanation. Yeah, because the people are like, oh, so you read the Bible. And then, like, I had to re-explain myself. No, but, like, oh, but you said in the podcast, you read the Bible. I was like... That but it doesn't matter really, when you read it or not. Who cares? Well, it does because I don't. You know, there's people that really read the Bible. So what? what? If they, okay, so they they take their time to okay, like, learn. Go back to your point. Go like, back to your they point. take their time to learn and acknowledge that I'm not taking my time. That's a disregard to them and what they're doing. That's fucked up. <laughs> I don't want to take credit for that shit. That's like that's like me saying, "Oh, I study uh, political science and blah blah." And you actually have degrees in that, I don't. Who cares? I disregard your degree. You can have a degree. You don't give a fuck. Some people don't give a fuck. You know, like, people get mad at, like, fake lawyers and fake doctors. Oh, yeah, but that's different because I don't want you to do surgery. No, 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 no. They don't just get mad because they're about to experiment on you. They get mad because, like, yo, like, this is, like, a real profession. You know, people take shit. Yeah. All right, go back well, to then, the I was reading a verse, right? This, that, uh, and you know this better than me, right? Where it said, um, when God first made Adam... He made Eve because he saw that man was lonely. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, and it was not good for men to be alone. Right. 
right. So then, it, so it's almost like this thing where you and you look at just not uh, fuck Instagram and social media, just the world what? in general. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most when you go out, most people are in groups or in couples. You get me? Like they're together. It's very rare for you to see that one person out, that outlier out, right? So for me personally, and I'm talking from my personal experience, I've I've been enjoying doing that lately, like going out by myself because now I'm because the the one thing for people that I've realized is that. And, and realizing it on myself is that when you have the moment to sit still and just be with yourself, mm-hmm. you have to deal with yourself. And you have that to go through some stuff. That you have to deal with everything that's within yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And when you don't deal with those things that's within yourself, that's where, you know, these little things start coming into play. You kind of just start pushing shit to the side. Those things end up building up. You yeah, know what I mean? So, so when you go out, you see like, yo, for some reason, right? Like, one, one thing, you know, everybody knows this shit about me. I love going to the movies. So that's what I've been doing. Like, I go to movies. I go have dinner, right? And I sat at the bar, I'm waiting for my movie to start, and everybody's in couples, and, I, and I'm just like people watching this shit. Like, everybody is like in their own world, right, at the moment, right? They're distracted with certain conversations, or they're talking to the bar people, they're, you know, like, all of this, right? But then you don't think like, them. I wonder what these people go through on their own, you know what I mean? Everybody's in a group, having a good time and laughing, and I know that experience, because, you know, when we all get together, that's what we do, we just laugh all the time, right? And then... But then you start to think that, yo, but what do these people go through when they're alone? Like, it, the little stuff that go through my head, because I'm thinking about it, I'm like, one thing I hate doing, I hate going to dinner by myself, but I've been doing it lately because I don't like doing it, you know what I mean? Just one of those things, like I always tell you, it's like, okay, for you to get over, so let's say you want to stop eating cookies, most people, what they do is that they get away from cookies. Like, yo, all right, I'm going to stop, I'm going to not buy cookies, I'm going to, no. The real testament of your strength is to have those cookies in front of you and not do it. That's always a true testament of strength when it comes to anything. You know what I mean? It's having that. So, for example, people like, all right, uh, I'm a cheater or I love fucking girls, but I don't want to do that to my girl no more. So, I'm going to stay away from like clubs and shit. Like that, right? That's how people start off and that's good. You know what I mean? But the true testament, the true strength is when that shit happens and you really say, all right, no. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you really like, nah, fuck off. Like, that's not me. That's a true testament of strength, in, at least in my opinion. You know what I mean? So for me, I like to put myself into the shits, you get me, of the shits I don't like to do for the most part. You know, for example, there's a lot of shit I don't like to do, and so I just do it because it's like, okay, like, let's, let's start to develop mm-hmm. that, right? So, again, one thing, I hate eating dinner alone because it's literally a solace. It's like, uh, you don't have nobody to talk to, and usually dinner's like, you know, you're eating, you're talking, mm-hmm. you're entertained by something, you get me? But then when you have to sit there by yourself, then you have to dig in deep, you get me? And you kind of start to see, like, okay, so what are the things that you kind of want? So what are the things that... You're looking for what are all the things that you're saying, you get me? And then you kind of start to analyze yourself. I feel like people lack that right there, you get me? People don't spend enough yeah. time on their own to really figure out themselves to begin with. Everybody says, oh, I want to figure myself out. Everybody's on the crowd like, oh, well, you know, I, I got to I gotta figure it out, I got to find it out. Self-discovery. But, but the problem is that they're not really trying to figure it out. They're too distracted by bullshit. For example, you're going to a job that you really don't like. You're studying something that you really don't like. You have activities that you really don't want to do. And you're bottled up by this, right? You're 24 hours each and every day that you don't ever really get to focus on you. You know, mm-hmm. self discovery doesn't come from just like, okay, I'm gonna do a job and I'm gonna like try to do this. It's like it, it comes by yeah. action. You know? like you have to really put yourself in positions and out there mm-hmm. to do that. You know, um, like the movie Eat, Pray, Love, right? So um, you ever seen the movie? Okay, so I see. I was watching part of it yesterday. I know what it's about. I was watching part of it yesterday. Right? The first five minutes of the movie, I already knew what the entire movie was about. You know what I mean? Because she's trying to find herself because you know, she has money, she has a husband. Mm-hmm. She's thinking like, yo, I have all of this shit. I, I, she thinks she knows. You know what I mean? But she does, right? I don't know how the movie develops, but I mean, if I had to guess, she probably goes to like some type of like ashram or some shit like that, right? Where she has a guru and then you know the spiritual, cool, whatever. Everybody needs to have their form of their spiritual outbreak. You get me? Like they're. And, and, and not necessarily, like, you know, in that spectrum. I'm talking about their own way. Yeah, yeah. Their, uh, breakthrough. Exactly, their own breakthrough. Because, bro, most people right now, they're building their lives based on shit that doesn't matter. Let's be honest, you get me? They buy shit that doesn't matter. And the perfect example of that is the hurricane. The hurricane was about to come. Everybody in the Bahamas just lost their cars, lost their houses. Shit doesn't matter. But one thing Lil Duval was putting out is that, yo, like, these people, they don't have... um. They don't put their values in these things because they know, you know, anytime a hurricane comes, it fucks everything up. You know what I mean? So, like, I think that that has a lot to do with, you know, like I was saying, your your mental health because we are putting the things that matter to the back because we're so busy trying to build 
uh, this career, build this financial bullshit, that you don't ever focus on the things that matter at hand, which is your mind, your spirit, your soul. You don't focus on those things that matter way more because you know, if you fix those things that you line up those things first, instead of going backwards trying to get your money and trying to get all of this shit first, then you don't realize that your path to life is going to be a whole lot easier. You yeah. I mean? There's this, um, this, this verse that says, you know, when, when someone writes right, to somebody he cares about, he says, you know, I pray that you will prosper as your soul prospers. Mm-hmm. And, 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 you know, and so that is very different to the way we see prosperity. Mm-hmm. I mean, we see prosperity as the external factors. Yeah. But this guy basically is saying, look, I want you to pressure from the inside out because then you have real prosperity, which is what you're alluding to. And, and so, you know, I, at least there's factors that I, I believe are true. You know, one of them is, is learning to, to be alone the right way and then learning to be in groups the right way. Because many of us, we're in groups, but we still feel alone. Mm-hmm. We have people around us, but we still feel like nobody understands us. Yeah. You know, and sometimes we're alone and we feel lonely. Being mm-hmm. alone and being lonely are not the same thing. Yeah, Because you can be a, surrounded by everybody and still feel lonely if you don't realize that you can be yourself and be comfortable with who you are in your own skin. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the whole idea of community, that's essential. I think we need to find people we rely on, whether that's your family or friends. Mm-hmm. Because think about it, you know, you, you quoted the whole idea of Adam shouldn't be alone, right? Mm-hmm. But even as, as the baby, the first thing you should do is hear his mother's heartbeat, right? Yeah. You know, and, and as, as the whole idea of marriage, the whole idea of friendship and relationship is so necessary because we're better together. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, biblically it says that if one falls, the other can pick him up. It's such a logical thing. Just it, it, yeah, exactly. It's so much better. Mm-hmm. You know, to fall when you have somebody around you that can pick you up and fall and have nobody else that can help you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so logical. And, and I think that that is the idea. Find, you know, find community, but also find clarity within you as your soul prospers. You know, find moments of stillness. Like, yeah. you know, find moments of quietness. Because we live so fast mm-hmm. that that is why our, ma- our minds break down. Because our minds are not meant or designed to just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep pushing, keep moving. No. There's rest, right? If you subscribe to faith, all right, I don't ever want to be preaching, but you subscribe to faith, even the Bible says that even God rested. And, and, and that makes no sense because yeah, yeah. he did, he wasn't tired. Right. So he wasn't had an idea of rest because you're tired. It's rest so that you can take a breath, yeah, so yeah. that you can relax, so you can refresh, and that, like, so you can put, evaluate things into perspective and be, and you were just saying right now, you know, when you're lonely, like, or alone, not lonely, you're alone. You can be like, hey, you know, what's the deal with this? How come I have issues with that? How can, because sometimes, Social media keeps gives us a whole world of people around us. So we're constantly looking, comparing, yeah. competing. And then we have our job. And then we have the family. And then we have the bills. And then we have this. And then we have that. And then we're wondering why our health is deteriorating. And we're wondering why we feel so anxious all the time. But we can't sleep. We're in bed and we're still restless. Uh-huh. Right? Because so many things are running. So many things are running. So many things. Our mind is bound to break. Exactly. And, like, and, and not to cut you off, but you said it right, though. Your mind is not like you, you're doing this right all the time, but that's just it. The, the reason why you break down is because you're doing so much things that you don't really care mm-hmm. about. You get me? Like yo, you wake up and oh fuck, I'm late to work. I'm late to work, and, and you rush to work, and you gotta be uh, spend like an hour in traffic. You get me? And then you're at work for eight hours, and you don't really want to be there, right? And then that you're doing so much shit that you don't want to do. You get me? That, that's that's all we said. Like, yo, it's like one of the things that I'm down provides besides like that message is that to me. It's something that I want to do. You get me? Mm-hmm. So, like, for example, me, I'm not the type of person that I hate my job. Like, I'm not... Like, I'd rather be... If I could be at work every single day, I would. Like, like that's, 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 a, that's the feel about my job. Yeah. You get me? Like, and so it's, I, I don't look at my job like, fuck, it's Monday. I don't want to go to work. Fuck. They got... You know, there's things that I forget it's Friday. Like, like there's literally... Like, I'll be forgetting that, like... Like, I'll walk in the office and be like, oh, happy Friday. I'll be like, likewise. And I say that as a courtesy. I don't say that because I mean... Yeah, yeah happy, Friday. happy Friday. There's times that I literally forget, like, oh, shit, it is Friday. Because the only thing to me that I look forward to for Friday is that I get to sleep in more. Well, you yeah. get me? So that, that's really... That's really... It. For example, like, I, I feel like, you know, I, I, I have a point right now where, like, I if I wanted to, I, like, I could probably make my own schedule in a sense, right? Like, I could probably go into work at, at 10 and leave at 7 if, you know, I worked that mm-hmm. out, right? Like, realistically, but... It, it's for, for me. It, I, I don't, I'm not looking at this as a cloud of like, oh my god. For me, it's an opportunity. I mean, like, like I, I, I feel like I've been blessed to be where I'm at right now, and I'm gonna be as long as God has me there. You get me? When, when it's, when it's time for me to go, it's time for me to go. That's just meant yeah, to be. You get me? Is, yeah. that, that's just it. It's so like, 
I, I, and for me to be able to come back and try to do something else that I actually enjoy doing, that energizes. You get me? And that's the thing that we're saying last time. It's like people need to start doing things that energize. Again, we talk about motivation. Mm -hmm. And when you get more, a motivational speaker, that shit energizes. It boosts you up. Like, yeah. shit, like, you want to be you active. Ready, you need to look for what energizes you. Yeah. And that's you. Like, if what energizes yeah. you is to travel. Because that's the recharge for Exactly. You. Like, look, if you love to travel, right? If you love trying new foods, new restaurants, that's what you need to do. You get me? Like, yo, every... If, if your thing is food... Every Saturday, every Sunday, you know, try to aim. Like, all right, I'm gonna try a new place. Within your budget, right? Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> with whatever, whatever budget you have. Within your budget, yeah, right, exactly, you know. exactly, exactly. Very true. You know, and, and you and you just match that up. I mean, you need to. People need to do things to energize them because, again, at, at your point, you can't just keep bam, 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 moving, more, more, more. Doing shit you don't want to do. Yeah. Like, look at how much time you spend in traffic. Look how much time you spend at work. Look how much time you spent coming back home. Look how much time you spent on maybe doing shit for other people you don't want to do. Yeah. Like, look how much people have cars that they pay for that. That Some people have cars that they don't even know why they have those cars. Like, like think about it. Our cars from point A to point B, right? We, we're going, like, we're just what we're talking about today. We've gone to a place of luxury. Like, we're so comfortable that you have the pick of the litter. Yeah. Like, yo, if everyone goes broke today, everybody's going to go back to basics. My necessities, you get me? People buy shit that they don't really care about. They just know, oh, this makes me look good. The reason I say that, talking to certain girls, certain girls will be like, oh, what's your, what's your car? What do you want? What, yo, I can't wait to have a Benz. Okay, cool. Which Benz? You, you know that Benz, the the, the Benz, like the, with that two door. Like, yeah, yeah. Like they don't even fucking know which car. They just that little sign. They want that sign, but they don't want that sign for them. They want. When they get that car, they're going to feel accomplished, but because everybody else sees that car mm -hmm. as a sign of accomplishment. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with them. But, again, you have the nice house. You have the nice car. All of that shit takes money for you to maintain. And yeah. if the job you're doing, like, if that's... Because most people, they can't quit. They can't do something because they say, yeah. oh, bills need to get paid. You're absolutely right. Bills do need to get paid. What bills are you paying? Go look at that. You get me? All of that has to do with your mental health, with where you're at in life. Because you're working towards something that you don't necessarily care about, really. Yeah. I mean, and then we wonder why we have like quarter life crisis, mid life crisis. Quarter life crisis. Okay. Think about that shit. That is real, bro. I thought that it was a joke. Real. I thought it was a joke until I got to 25 and then I realized, yo, am I doing anything significant with my life? You know? And then I had to put some things in perspective where I do realize there's some things I need to have organized better. Mm -hmm. But there's some things I gotta be grateful for, and that's life, you know? Yeah. Like, like, but you need to have reality and, and have like a moment of reflection because mm -hmm. if we're just constantly running this rat race, yeah. man, we're going to run out and, and it won't be the anomaly anymore where suicidal thoughts come into our head. It's going to be the norm. Like, yo, I don't know if I can do this anymore. And, exactly. and, you know, and suicide is an epidemic. You know, someone once uh, wrote, uh, if a hundred people were getting sick or, or dying of the flu, you would call it an epidemic. Yeah. But thousands of people are dying of suicide and we would call that an epidemic. Right. Right. And I was like, damn, that's so true. And, and yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And uh, as I was saying, and, and you're right too, uh, as to like, just that point, I don't think people do bring enough light. Like, there, there, I heard people say, like, you know, the suicide rates have gone up, right? And a lot of those suicide rates that I always hear about, though, it comes down to like bullying. Like, yeah. you know, I'm not, I don't want to dismiss this. I just feel like, you know, it's different. It's just different generation, right? Like, I think, like, um, like this very much younger generation because I mean we're still in the young generation regardless. So I was born ninety five, you're born ninety four, right? In school, you will get roasted, ranked, whatever your uh, definition of the word is, and that that's that. If you post a picture on the internet, I remember I posted a picture in Levi's when I was in high school of a jean jacket I tried on, right? I tried on the jean jacket, I post on Instagram. I got roasted <laughs> so bad because the phone, I my hands are uh, allegedly big. And they, they're saying, boy, that phone in your hand, I don't know what the fucking joke was, right? But the point is that I was getting roasted, right, through that shit. And the, I don't know, like, I got to grow up in the era was like, okay, like, you know, shit, shit like that, yeah, it's, 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 it's normal, you know what I mean? It happens, I understand, you know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, kids now live in the era where, like, yo, if you rank anybody, like, yo, you destroy their life, they feel... And, again, I don't want to dismiss it because people really do go there. If you ever watched 13 Reasons Why, like, this last season, I just finished the last season, three. I think that's probably the, one of the most impactful seasons. That's what I'm saying. Honestly, at first, you know, the first season are very depressing, very, like... This last season was really good because you really get to see... 
Um, and you know, these actors are they're actors, but they really embodied what it meant to to be a hurt person in this world. You know what I mean? Like you're walking around with at such a young age and you're and man, these kids are now this is post trauma already. You know what I mean? Like so they're kind of like dealing with the stuff that they already went through. Yeah. Some of them got raped, sexual assault, shit that they're dealing with the aftermath of it. And you see like the pain, you can you can feel it, you know what I mean? And that's why I can't be dismissive of it. But again, like you said, it's hard to understand because we grew up in a different time. Mm -hmm. like, you know, if you rank me, I'm gonna rank you back. And if you're better than me, then fuck it, I lost. Mm -hmm. But whatever. Not you know, nowadays it's not it's not like that. But that's a suicide rate that you see it's gone up because oh kids are getting bullied yeah. in that sense. Like, you know, it, it that's what's going on. But to your case, so like yo, there's people who are dealing with deeper issues, right? In life that are much older. And that's not necessarily yeah. discussed. You know that the highest percentage, uh, I think as of yeah, like last year, was 18 to 25. Wait, wait. 18 to 25 what? 18 to 25 it was like, like increasing. Like that, yeah, that was the like increasing rate. So, you yeah. know, that's literally millennials, basically, yeah. and, and within the millennial gap. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, people who get out of high school and people who are currently in college and between the middle life, yeah. quarter life. It's, it's, it's understandable, you know. It's mm -hmm. like, yo, you're trying to figure out who you are, you're trying yeah. to figure out what you're supposed to be, what you're supposed yeah. to do. And there's so much pressure that sometimes it just seems, and, and not like at the end, I don't know, I don't know what the answer is. I just my encouragement to you guys, you know, talk to somebody, find help, find yes. the discussion. You know, we we clearly are not experts in any field. We just want to give you an exhortment that life is worth living, no matter how hard it gets. And you know, to to that point, real quick, you know, if if so, one problem that we have is that we compare too much, right? I understand why we compare because we try to see a point of like success like yeah. what would be a, mm -hmm. a scope of success the problem is this and one thing we're talking about right now is culturally you have to understand there's differences right mm -hmm. so like in Miami there's a certain expectancy of success or whatever right in Philly there's a certain expectancy of success. in LA or whatever everywhere around the world there's a certain expectancy of success for your age the thing is that you know a lot of and, and when you go through these like quarter life crises and shit like that is because you're looking at people like that are that could be set up or are lying and you're comparing your life to theirs. That comes back to social media. You get me? Look, if I compare myself to a lot of the people I went to high school with and graduated, right? My and I don't have anxiety at this at all. I'm just putting this as an example, right? My anxiety will be higher, I mean will be lower than if I were to compare it to like the little pumps of the world, right? Who are like twenty years old and they're super millionaires. You get me? That's the problem. That's why people are having a lot of hard time. Because not necessarily figuring out what you want to do. A lot of people are figuring out the money yeah. that they, they need to get. You know what I mean? No, and, and obviously, like, there's different aspects. Bro. It's like that, that comparison is one. But there's people who really fight an illness. And, you know, yeah. like, yeah. what are we going to do? Like, you know, there's people that, that are very open. They'll say, yeah, I've been fighting this since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And so for us, we'll look at it from the outside and be like, Man, this person's always sad, or that person took that, that comment too seriously. Yeah. But you don't know what's going on within somebody. So, like, you know, just always be conscious. Like, you know, we, we're the kind of people who joke around. I'll give you an example. You know, somebody made fun of me last week because I said something about them, right? Mm -hmm. And then they came and apologized to me. Yeah. And I was like, for what? Mm -hmm. And then they're like, you know, I said this about you. I didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah. Because to me, it's like, yo, we're just having a good time. Yeah, yeah. You get me? But, but because people are not raised the way we are, you know, and that goes for anybody, is you got to compare, you know, we didn't, I know we just said don't compare, but compare in the sense that we didn't all, well, we weren't all brothers out the same way, so we don't all have the same understanding. Like, if I joke with you, you joke with me, we're not going to apologize. Yeah. It's just a joke and we keep it moving. Yeah. But some of the people don't have that cultural understanding for us, and so we got to understand the words that we use do matter. And that's just to tell you because you don't know what somebody's doing unless you walk in their shoes. You don't know how they're feeling. You don't know what they're dealing with. So just be a little kinder. Be a little more thoughtful. Be a little more patient. Be a little more loving. You know, and that's it. You know, we don't have to be perfect, but we have to be better. Yeah, you know, um, and, and to, to end it, um, that, that's like uh, Muhammad Ali, right? I feel that quote from Muhammad Ali. He said, I, I don't know all this shit, so this is a fucking recipe, what he said, right? He said, take a... A, a teacup of kindness, a spoon of whatever, 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 right? And basically what he's alluding to was, you know, take take happiness, take kindness, take all this positive energy, right? And wield it inside of you, because that's, you know, we all have the power to do that. You have me to attract these things, right? And bring that out into the world. Because realistically, that's, that's all it is, you know, making somebody else feel 
like there's somebody means something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know, like, it's very, uh, I guess, like, cheesy now. Like, if you tell a girl you're beautiful or whatever, because she's automatically like, oh, this motherfucker trying to hit on me or whatever, right? But, you know, wherever you can pave your compliments in whatever, you know, societal way that you can, you know, do it. But what I'm trying to say, like, you take that positive and you, and you put it out because you don't know who you're saving. Because, mm-hmm. you, know, you know, it's funny. People may not even realize it, but, like, you know, we do I'm down, right? Somebody sends us a message through I'm down, like, any uh, this what was it? I don't know if you saw it. Um, I don't even remember. Some so, somebody from church, they like reposted like something that we put or whatever, and they're like, oh, "I'm done." Yo, that little thing, maybe it was maybe I don't know what they're going through their head, but for me, that felt good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because like, damn, like we're just doing us. You know what I mean? Whatever we're trying to do, we're trying to do whatever, whatever it is that we're trying to do. You know, when somebody else can see it too, like when somebody else is like, yo, like, you know, check them out, check this mm-hmm. out, or whatever, because they're trying to, like, X, Y, and Z, you're like, damn, bro, that feels good. Those little things, it, it feels good, it does. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, it, it's the same it thing for somebody everything. else. It, it is the same thing for anybody else. You know what I mean? You see anybody else, you you follow up with that smile, because even a, somebody smiles at you, that could brighten up your day. Like, damn, that could make you feel good. For you sure, get me? Because yeah. it's, it's just that transfer of energy. Realistically, you know, whether science or whatever, we are, like, we it's energy. Mm-hmm. I mean, food that we eat, the calories, K-Kala, is energy. You get me? So we are energy in that sense. You get me? So that does matter. You get me? And that, that's exactly what you just need to do. Like, be in that positive mindset. Now, I understand that's easier said than done. Oh, Some sure. people are in a very negative mindset. Yeah. They can't go to positive. But for you that... You know you can be in that positive state, mm-hmm. and it's easier for you. Then you know it's it's almost like your duty to be able to spread that out. Because at the end of the day, talking about mental health, talking about everything, everything in life is only about the people in your life. Yeah. You get me realistically. Like you said right, look, you eat, you drink, you love God, right? But that love for God is extended to everybody like else. People, you get me? It's within love people. your neighbor. Exactly. It's always going to be extended within people. Like people is what matters. Like if you were a quadrillionaire and there's nobody on this earth, it would be pointless for you to be on earth. Think about that shit. Imagine if you are super duper yeah, rich. Really you can have a, a fucking plane if you want to. What the fuck would you do? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, the, the, yeah, so, we need human contact. Exactly. Sure. So you need that. So, you know, for those of you who are struggling, like Chris said, we are not professionals. You know, we're just two uh, dumb motherfuckers <laughs> who just uh, come on here, we talk, and hopefully it reaches somebody. You know what I mean? It, whether it's that just that one person and it sparks something, just like Tupac said, right? Like, oh, I might not change the world, but yeah. I guarantee I'll spark the person who will change yeah. the world, right? So it's, it's, it's the same concept. You're just trying to pay it forward. That's all it is, you get me? One generation comes in, they do their work, you learn from that, and you continue to make that grow. You get me? Mm-hmm. That's, that's all it is. So, you know, once again, uh, we thank you guys for listening. We thank you guys for supporting. We thank you guys for the love that you guys give us. Continue to send that positivity over. Share, like, tell somebody about I'm down. Um, you got anything? No, I don't know. All right, guys. Till next time. Thanks.